Hey, Deb, you have some real nerve, do you know that? I mean, really, just what kind of game are you trying to play here? I want to know why you're hanging out with my fiancé so much. Just what are you getting at? Wait, what? What is all this about? Who even are you and how did you get my number? Wait a second, I recognize the name now. Isn't this Lindsay? We used to work together, right? I remember now, I used to be your supervisor. That's right! I'm glad you deem me worthy enough to remember. But what I want to know is just what do you think you're doing hanging around with my boyfriend all the time? Your boyfriend? I don't even know who that is. Oh, don't you play dumb with me. You're not fooling anyone at all, you know. Just come out and admit it. You've been stalking my boyfriend for a long time now, and I know it. You think that I'm stalking someone? I literally don't even know the person who I would be stalking. This is just ridiculous. What's ridiculous is the fact that you're almost 50 years old now, right? So what I want to know is why an old hag like you is hanging around with a young man in his 20s. Don't you see how wrong that is for you to do that? Look, Lindsay, I can promise you that I'm not stalking anyone at all, okay? You're lying to me and I know it. I've seen you do it myself so many times. I know that you're stalking my boyfriend and it is seriously starting to piss me off, so just quit it. I still literally don't even know who you're talking about right now. I talk to and hang out with a lot of different people, so it's possible that your boyfriend is one of those people, but you still haven't even told me who that is. Tall guy, always wears a suit, broad shoulders. Does that ring enough bells for you? I work in an office where everyone wears suits, so no. If that's all you have to describe this person, then I still have no clue. Why don't you just tell me this person's name so we can stop playing this text version of Guess Who? You really think that I'm going to use my boyfriend's name in a conversation with his stalker? I wouldn't dream of it! Well, that's your choice, I suppose. But I just really think that this is the least effective way to go about doing this. I don't remember asking your opinion on that. Just make sure that you keep away from my boyfriend. Do you understand me? I literally don't understand you because first of all, I'm not stalking anyone, and second of all, I'm married. I literally have a husband and a son. I don't believe this. You're even worse than I thought. You mean to tell me that you have a loving family at home and you choose to go after my poor boyfriend? Although. I bet if I had to guess, my boyfriend would probably have to be around the same age as your son. Which makes all of this even worse! You're disgusting trying to go after someone your son's age. You're an old, washed-up cow and you need to learn to stick to your own age bracket. Got it? I don't know how many times I'm going to have to tell you that there is no stalking going on before you believe me. Shut up! I am sick and tired of having this conversation. Just make sure that you never, ever go near my boyfriend ever again. Oh, David, I'm home. Welcome back, Mom. I really missed you. I can't believe your work sent you on an overseas business trip for six whole months. Thank you, son. It really is nice to be back. I can't believe that I was gone for so long either. You know, I was actually supposed to arrive yesterday, but the weather was just awful. And then there were technical problems with my plane, and it was just a disaster. Well, I'm just glad that you're back today. After all, I'm getting married tomorrow, and I was worried that you weren't going to make it when you told me you were pushing your arrival back. I really am sorry for worrying you. I was pretty worried about missing it myself. More than that, though I feel so bad that I haven't been able to meet your fiancé once. I know that you both started dating a while before I left, but we were always so busy and then I left for my trip. Well, don't worry. You two will have plenty of time to get to know each other from here on out, and you'll finally get to meet her at the wedding. I've told her all about you, so I think you should just rest up and get ready for tomorrow. That's very sweet of you, David. 
And yes, I really should go get some rest and prepare for tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow for the big day. Have a nice night, Mom! You too, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. Okay, now you've really gone too far, Deb. Just what the heck do you think you're doing at my wedding right now, huh? I thought I told you to stay away from my boyfriend, so why are you here on my big day? Please don't tell me that the boyfriend you were telling me to stay away from back then is the same man that you're marrying now. Of course it is. David's my fiancé, and by the end of the day, he'll be my husband. But before that can happen, I needed to make sure that you left so you didn't ruin the whole thing. I know that you were up to something. And is that really your excuse for what you did to me? The moment you saw my face, you grabbed me by the collar and dragged me out of the venue and threw me on the lawn. Then, when I tried to get back in, you told the staff to make sure that I didn't step a foot inside. Just what are you trying to pull with that, huh? What do you mean, what am I planning? My plan is to keep an old cradle robber like you out of my wedding so that I can marry my fiancé in peace. Be that as it may, I'm only here to watch my son get married. Well, you must have gotten the wrong place, because the only wedding happening here today is ours. That's exactly what I mean. This is the wedding that I'm trying to attend. Do you understand what I'm saying? I have no idea what you're saying. Maybe you're already getting Alzheimer's, you old hag. Let me spell this out for you then. David is my son. I am David's mother. Get it now? Wait, what do you mean by that? Okay, let's make this even simpler. My last name is Fairbanks, right? David's last name is Fairbanks. Are you starting to put it together now? I don't know if you just never picked up on that, or just didn't bother to even ask to see a picture of your own fiancé's mother. And I'm also sorry that as his mother, I didn't make more of an effort to meet you. You're not making any sense at all right now, Deb. I mean, just how can David be your son? I guess the ages would make sense for you to be his mom, but... Just because you have the same last name doesn't mean you two are related. Besides, I remember that in the office, you used to go by Baker. Right. Well, that was my maiden name. Your maiden name? Are you kidding me? I guess I'll explain all this to you too. When I first started working for the company where you later joined, I was unmarried and all the paperwork there had me under my maiden name. Apparently, it would have been a lot of paperwork and a big hassle to edit everything in the system. So I just told my boss to not worry about it and keep using my maiden name for simplicity's sake. I think that if you ask around where you work for other women who started single and got married on the job, you'll see that this isn't uncommon. No, that can't be right. You are just making up excuses and trying to confuse me, aren't you? Do you really think that I'm going to be fooled by some perverted grandma like you so easily? Sounds to me like you just don't want to admit that I'm really David's mother. Of course I don't want to admit that, because it's simply not true. David told me that his mom manages her own company that deals with overseas trade. Basically, she's the total opposite of the sad, pathetic stalker that you are. She's actually done something with her life and owns her own company. She even went on a business trip for six months in another country. I doubt you've ever done anything like that in your life. And today is going to be the first day that I meet her. Well, you were mostly correct about everything that you just said. You mean like the part about you being a pathetic stalker? I'm well aware. Anyways, why don't you go ahead and tell David that his mother has gone home? Wait, what do you mean? Just tell him that you and I had a chance to meet and that I went home afterwards. I can't believe you're still trying to peddle this lie to me. Hey, Mom, where are you? I've been waiting around since early this morning to see you. I really want you to come and meet Lindsay before everything starts. Oh, we actually just met, dear. Didn't you hear from Lindsay? 
What do you mean, so you're here already? Well, about 20 minutes ago, I introduced myself, and she started screaming about how I was stalking you. Then she threw me out of the venue and prevented me from going back in. Just mention her old boss, Miss Baker. I'm sure she'll get the message. Lindsay said that you were stalking me. I don't get it. She did, and now I'm on my way to the emergency room. Oh no, what happened? Well, when she threw me out of your wedding, I tripped down some stairs and fell on my knee. It's starting to swell up a bit, so I think I need to get it checked out. But I don't get it. Besides, didn't you come with Dad? Where is he? Your dad was busy parking the car, and then apparently he forgot something and had to go back to the parking lot. It was all while he was away that this happened. But he's with me now and taking me to the hospital. Anyways, if you wouldn't mind telling Lindsay that I'm actually your mother, I think it would save us all a lot of time. Right, got it. This can't be happening. I don't believe it. You really were his mother this whole time. Why didn't you tell me before I did what I did? But I did tell you. I explained to you in great detail, actually. But you should have done more to make me understand. Well, I wanted to tell you in person, but before I could get a word out, you threw me down the steps. After that, I had no choice but to type it all out for you. Except you decided to ignore all of that and continue to treat me like a stalker. But that's only because I really did think you were lying. I mean, I thought that you were just some jealous old lady who quit because she knew she couldn't compete with me. But I had no idea that you left to start your own business and travel all over the world. Well, you basically took the words from my mouth. I only left that old job to start my own business. Me quitting didn't have anything to do with you, though. It didn't, at all? Although I do remember you quite clearly from those days, and it doesn't seem like you've changed one bit. But please come back to the wedding. It's okay now that I know you're really David's mom. I, I believe you now. I'm afraid I couldn't do that if I wanted to. I'm at the hospital right now because of what you did to my knee. So, you won't come back? David, please, you have to reconsider. I really am so sorry. I didn't do it to be mean. I just made a little mistake. I just want to ask one thing, Lindsay. When you saw me walk up to you with my mom, did you really think that I was just having a casual chat with a woman who was stalking me? It's not like I haven't shown you any picture of my mom. Did you really just not realize that her and my so-called stalker were the same person? I just, well, I just don't remember, that's all. You've got to be kidding me. I really didn't know they were the same person. Even if you didn't, you had to before you even bothered checking who my mom really was. You didn't even try to use your words or act like a responsible adult. And that's why I knew that I just couldn't marry you. Please, we can still make this work. Maybe you can, but I can't. I never want to hear from you again. When I got to the hospital on the day of what was supposed to be my son's wedding, I was grateful that my doctor said my knee wasn't seriously injured. Apparently, Lindsay somehow heard that the injuries were quite light and tried to use that to get David to take her back. She told him that I was going to make a full recovery, and that in the end, there was no permanent damage, so there was no point in canceling the marriage. In response, David told her that he was going to send her my hospital bills, as well as the cancellation fees for all their wedding plans. When she heard just how much that was going to be in total, she knew she couldn't pay it, and begged even harder to put this all behind them. Of course, my son just ignored her. But Lindsay didn't give up and continued to follow David around, begging him to take her back. Finally, David felt like he had no choice but to go to the court and ask for a restraining order from his crazy stalker. Emma, how are you living in a condo with no job? I'm so jealous. What? 
I heard from mother-in-law that you moved out of the house. You guys started living in a condo? Um, yes. Why are you asking? What's with the attitude? I just asked. So, are you still sponging off your parents? Wow, aren't you embarrassed? Oh, um, Sophia? What are you talking about me having no job? I do have a job. <laughs> Probably a low-paying job, right? <laughs> Excuse me? When did I ever tell you about my job? Uh, never. You'd never tell me where you work and your annual income, so doesn't that mean that you're poor? What? You even live with your parents. That jumps into conclusion that you're living off your parents' money. Wow, I'm so pissed. David and I work so hard every day but can't have a luxurious life. Why are you attacking me though? Do you think you won in life living there? You are a miserable person. <laughs> what? I heard some things about you from mother-in-law and David. Seems like you get really nervous easily. So you failed SAT three times and ended up going to a community college. Unlike David, who went to a top university, right? I'm really proud to have David as a brother. He was a really smart kid growing up because he passed the SAT even though he started studying a month before. He is the total opposite of me. Exactly. For someone who went to community college, you have some nerve to be relying on your parents. You are so immature for your age. Hey mom, did you tell David about moving into the condo? Why, I just told them that we will be moving in. That's it. Um, I just got a chat from Sophia and she said how I don't have a job and how I rely on your money. You didn't tell her that this condo is yours, right? Wait, you didn't say that this condo is not mine, but yours? So, that's why Emma is saying all these things to me. I am not lying though. She just misunderstood. That's it. Really? Yes, because when I told her that we moved into a condo, she was really happy for us. I can't say that it's yours after she said that. Mom, you should have corrected yourself. And how are you living with me? Are you kidding me? If I say that, I will be embarrassed. It seems as if I'm relying on you. Aren't you, though? Um, yes. You were a failure since you were a kid. You were an embarrassment to our family and still are. Well, even though I'm a failure, I worked my ass off and was able to buy this place. I will never be good for you, am I? Shut up! Don't be cocky just because you bought this place. I'm not being cocky. By the way, you didn't tell David about your company back home, right? That's none of your business. We are a family, so it does matter. So, um, looks like the company's finance dropped and almost is going bankrupt, right? And you sold your house to pay the debt, which resulted you to having no money. And since you had nowhere else to go, you decided to come to my place. Why don't you just tell David everything? Absolutely not. I will talk about it when I want to. David told me that he wants to take over the company, so... Wow. You should really talk to him before he finds out, though. I know that. You better not talk about this to him, okay? All you need to do is shut up. Oh, wow. I love the view from this place. I am so excited to live here. <laughs> what? Too bad. We already brought in our things. I will kindly throw away your things once everything is settled. Um, what's going on? Why are you bringing your things to my place? My place? What are you talking about? This is your mother's place. Are you stupid? Excuse me? Sorry to say this, but we will be living here from today with your parents. So why don't you go live somewhere else? 
Why am I kicked out and you guys moved in? I can't believe this. Please leave my place immediately. Your opinion doesn't matter, you know. Your mom allowed us to move in here. Huh. Really? Yeah. Also, seems like she doesn't want to live with you. So that's why she asked me if I want to move in with David today. Since you are going on a business trip overseas. Wow. You've got to have some nerve to be traveling overseas with your parents' money. Have you done something nice to them? Yes, I've actually have. When they were in trouble, I did whatever I can to do to help them. But looks like they didn't appreciate it. Oh my god, they asked a failure like you for help? <laughs> You're lying, right? Anyways, we will be living here from now on, so get the fuck out of here. Sure, I will gladly do that. What? Thank you so much for living there for me. Living together was hell. Phew. Wait, why are you appreciating me? You're not pissed? It cost pretty good money, but you guys have no problem paying it off since you two graduated from a top university and working at a big company, right? Hold up. This place is not yours, though. <laughs> yes, it is. Didn't I tell you this before? When I bought this condo, my parents came and cried that they have no house, so they asked if it's okay to live there. So the nice person that I am, I let them live there. What? Can't believe that my parents said that about me. I was actually thinking about kicking them out soon, but because they never said the word thank you to me, there's no need to do that. So, thank you. This is just a joke, right? Wait, there is no way you can buy this place, though. How? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I actually make one million dollars at least every month. What? A few of my friends and I formed a company together, and today is our business trip overseas, so there is no time for a vacation. You formed a company? I didn't hear about this. Even mother-in-law and David didn't tell me. Yeah, I hid it from everyone because since childhood, I was made fun of calling me a failure. So that's why I didn't talk to them about my job or how much money I make. You're kidding me, right? No, this is not possible. That's more than our yearly household income. If you don't believe this, why don't you ask mom? She knows everything, so that's why she's living with me. Okay, well, I need to get back to work. One more thing. I will be selling the condo when I come home, so be prepared to leave. Why did you tell them everything? I told you not to say anything. Don't you think that I am the one that should be mad? Why did you let them move in without my permission and kick me out? Can't believe you are acting like this even though I helped you through hard times. Shut up! Don't be cocky just because you earn a lot of money. Excuse me? You didn't help us. You just did what every kid would do. It's the kid's job to help parents when they are in trouble. We even raised you, so isn't it normal for you to let us stay? Stop saying things like you helped us because you didn't. Oh, so that's why you never said thank you to me. I actually want to leave here as soon as possible, but our company isn't a case of bankruptcy. So that's why I decided to be head of the household while you were going on your business trip. This was actually part of my plan. You didn't tell David about this, right? What plan? What are you talking about? The plan to let David take over the company. To be honest, I want him to take over after the company recovers, but I don't know what will happen. He might not want to take over because of this, but living here was the way to hide that. <laughs> what kind of parent are you? I am not giving it to him. I am letting him take over because he said he wanted to. And what did he say? He said no, and said that he can't work at a company that is about to go bankrupt. 
I knew he would say that. Why? I raised him with love, and he even went to a top university, unlike you. I also made a brilliant plan to live here to make him believe that our company is stable. All I wanted him to do is take over, recover the company, and buy this place so that we could live together. Um, did you really think that your stupid plan would work? <laughs> Who should I ask then? David declined, so there is nobody. How about me? My company is really successful now. Really? Just kidding. <laughs> Don't you think you will ask a failure like me, right? Well, even though you ask me, I will say no. So yeah, gotta go back to work. Hope you are able to have David take over the company. Emma, please help me. Your mother won't shut up since yesterday. I can't believe she made us believe that the company is successful by living here. I want to leave, but she's not letting me. I'm pretty sure that she has a lot going on. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you take over their company? What? No way! Wait, she's also telling me that if we move, she and her husband wants to come too. Really? Yeah, they said that they will close down the company and wants us to look after them. Wow, I'm not surprised. They have nothing left, so I guess you guys are the only ones they can reach out to, huh? I don't want to live like this, but when I tell them that, they get pissed off. They also said that lying is an act of fraud, so if David says that he doesn't want to take over the company, they are threatening him to pay fraud compensation. Oh, wow. Um, if this happens, can you take care of it? I want to come in peace. I mean, you earn money more than us, so... Yeah, I should have enough money, but hell no. Why? Because she hates me. Plus, she said that she wants to kick me out and live with you guys. So that is why it's your job to take care of her. No! I'm totally fine to take care of them, if their company is stable, but they have no money and house. They're just going to be a waste of space. Damn, you are so mean. <laughs> Can you take care of her, please? Actually, I never told you this, but we are in a really bad state now. David is about to get fired from his job, and there's no way I can pay for poor people. Well, that sucks. Yeah, since we are tight on money, I thought that living with your mom at a condo will be nice because we don't need to pay rent. Can't believe she lied to us. Well, it must be tough for you. But you guys are top university graduates, so I'm pretty sure that you guys will be just okay. Good luck. No, please. When I come home, I will change my number and will not tell you my new address. Oh, and also, I don't think that you guys can buy the condo, so I will sell it to someone else as soon as I come home. So maybe, you should start finding a new place. After coming home from a business trip, I sold the condo and moved to a small house close to the beach, living peacefully. I asked the contractor to take care of everything for me, and I never saw my parents nor David and his wife ever again. I heard that my parents' company went bankrupt, and due to poor management, they ended up with tens of millions of debt. They went crying to David, and now living in a very small apartment, crammed with four people. <laughs>